מישנה ו', סיקס מישנה. בשר קודשי קודשים. The meat of holy of holies. For example, what is the meat of holy of holies? We didn't learn that either yet. But there are some sacrifices which are considered holy of holies, some sacrifices which are only considered holy, and there's a, many differences. For example, if it's holy of holies, it needs to be eaten in the Azara by the Kohen. If it's just holies, it can be taken out of the Azara. Some things can take out Yerushalayim. Yeah, so there's many levels of what you shecht and what, how the Kohen has to use it. Yeah, M- many levels. So, but if it's the holy of holies, what's the holy of holies? Kegon ulot. חטות והאשמות. If it's a Ola offering, if it's a sin offering, yeah, if it's a guilt offering, all of these things is flesh that needs to stay in the Azarai. In other words, it need, the Kohen needs to eat the sacrifice, eat inside, it's not allowed to take it outside. And what happened is the Kohen is eating it, and because he's eating meat all the time, he gets, uh, God forbid, he gets a heart attack. And he dies right there with the meat in his uh, oh. mouth. So now this, and he touched, now, <laughs> now he touched the whole uh, sacrifice, yeah? So what do you do with it? So that, let's see. Kegon olot chatot v'ashimot shenitma, that became impure. Ben be'avatuma, whether it was avatuma, let's like, take, uh, let's say he didn't die, <laughs> to, to make it not so strict. Kegon shenaga b'sheretz or b'nevela, there was a dead mouse or one of the dead animals <laughs> that they shechted. They noticed, oh, this one is not kosher. It, and it touches this meat. Now what do you do with it? This whole meat is gone. So it says, Ben bevalada tuma, whether it was in the offspring of tuma, kigon shenaga berishona tuma, ben befnim, ben bachutz. Ben shenitma ba'azara, ben mechutz la'azara. Whether it became impure in the azara, or whether it became impure outside of the azara. Hannah, how can, you, you will ask, how can it become outside of the Azara? You're not allowed to take it outside of the Azara. But there's, may, there's for example, a room where the Kohanim would, uh, there would be a fire in the room, right? And half the room used to be in the temple, and half the room would be outside the temple. So a Kohen might eat over there, because it's still holy. So he's allowed to eat the meat over there. And then, I don't know, he walked with it outside and it's my mistake. You know, you, it, you can find it as there. So, what, what do you do with it? So there's going to be a disagreement of what you do with this uh, impure meat now. It become impure. What do you do with the meat? So Beit Shammai Omri, Beit Shammai says, I don't care where, what, what, what happened. It was inside. It was outside. It was Avatuma. It was not. If it became impure, if it's a holy of holies, one of, holy of holies sacrifices, if those become impure, Hakoli Saref Bifnim, you have to burn it inside the temple ground. That's where you have to burn it. Bebeit Hadeshen Sheba Azara. You have to burn it in Beit Hadeshen Sheba Azara. Shekol Shepsulo Bakodesh, Sofimo to Bakodesh. Because if it's Holy of Holies, it needs to be burnt where the Holy of Holies are burnt. That's where it goes. So you have to burn it right over there. There's Beit Hadeshen, a place where you burn all the things, that's where you burn it. Chutz. Except he has one exception. If it became impure in Avatuma when it was outside. Since it became so um, impure outside of the Azara, now you don't want to take impurity Avatuma back into the Azara. Since it's already outside, leave it outside. Don't put it back inside. If it's not avatuma, if it's just, you know, if it's not the strict, it's the second or the third or the fourth. Valada then tuma, maybe you can put it in. Yeah, the valada tuma, you can take a bit, but avatuma, leave it outside. Yeah. If it's valada tuma, the fact that it's holy of holies out trumps the purity and impurity. Bring it in back inside. But it's avatuma, leave it outside, Bet Shammai says. You don't bring it back to the Azara to burn it in Beit Adeshen, but you burn it outside. But if it became impure, not in Avatuma, in the offspring of Tuma, even outside, since it's not so strict, because it's Holy of Holies, you have to take it back and burn it where the Holy of Holies are burnt. Ubeit Hillel Omer, Beit Hillel says, no, 
The whole thing take outside. You don't want any impurity to stay in there. I don't care what kind of purity. In other words, the important part is not that it's holy of holies. The Beit Shammai looks, if it's holy of holy, it's important. Beit Hillel says, even if it's holy of holy, the fact that it's impure, take it out. I don't care. That's what Beit Hillel says. Beit Hillel, and Beit Hillel says, everything should be burnt outside, outside of the Azara. Except if it became impure in the least amount of Tuma inside, then you can, because it's not so tame, then you can burn it inside. It's a, they're almost the opposite, Shama and Hillel. Since it was only a little bit of purity and inside the Azara, and it's still Holy of Holies, so the Holy of Holies only trumps a little impurity. Beit Shammai says the, the opposite. If it's Holy of Holies, it trumps everything except the most severe impurity. That's the difference between Shammai and Hillel. Yisaref Befnim, he will burn inside. Aval im nitma be'avatuma befnim, en la shadotuma ba'azara. And he says, but if it became avatuma inside, you cannot leave it inside, take it outside immediately. You don't want any impurity to be in the temple, and the fact that it's only folies is not so important. The impurity is more important than only folies. And also, if it became impurified outside, even with a little bit of tuma, Beit Shammai says, hey, it's only folies, burn it inside. Beit Hillel says, I don't care, it's a little bit of impurity, it was outside, don't take impurity from outside to the inside, even if it's only folies. And that's how we end over here today.